Yes, sir, my nose is big. Nothing more? Just a fatuous smirk? Oh, come, sir, come. There are 50 score variety of comments you could find if you possessed a modicum of mind. For instance, there's the frank, aggressive kind. If mine achieved that hypertrophic state, I'd call a surgeon in to amputate the friendly. It must dip into your cup. You need a nasal crying to hoist it up. The pure descriptive. For its size and shape, I'd say it was a rock, a bluff, a cape. No! A peninsula. How picturesque, huh? <laughs> the curious. What's that? A writing desk? Truculent. Are you a smoker? I suppose the fumes must gush out fiercely from that nose, and people think a chimney is on fire. Consider it, and it will drag you in the mire. Head first, the weight that's concentrated there. I will walk carefully. The tender hearted. Swear you'll have a miniature umbrella made to keep the rain off, or for summer shade. Then comes the pedant. Oh, let me see it, please. That mythic beast of Aristophanes, the hippocampo camel elephant, had flesh and bone like that stuck up in front. Insolent. Quite a useful gadget, that. You hold it high and then hang up your hat. Emphatic. A no fierce wind from near or far save the mistral could give that nose guitar. Impressed. Oh, what a sign for a perfumery. Dramatic. <laughs> when it bleeds, it's the Red Sea. And finally, with tragic cries and sighs, the language finally wrought and deeply felt. Oh! That this too, too solid nose would melt. That's the sort of thing you could have said.